When it's colder, Wei Wuxian decided to go to a small city in the north out of blue. Have you seen the ice lantern? Wei Wuxian was a little excited when he mentioned it. The snow melted quickly in Gusu, so Lan Wangji hadn't seen it. What he was thinking about was the icy and snowy winter in the north, and Wei Wuxian would inevitably run around with excitement. Going from south to north, both of them withdrew their spiritual energy when they landed to rest, and they only felt cold once. One time when they stayed somewhere cold overnight, Wei Wuxian sneezed as soon as he landed. He couldn't be bothered to mobilize his spiritual power, so he plunged directly into Lan Wangji's arms. It's strange, Lan Wangji, a person looking as cold as ice, with warmth as spring in his arms all year round. Wei Wuxian couldn't keep his mouth shut when they were on their way. He had a lot to say in his two lifetimes. That's why I said you Lan family are so boring, you guys only stay on your mountain. When I was young, Lan Wangji glanced at him. In the past, Uncle Jiang let me go out alone every year. I went everywhere. Wei Wuxian said, you definitely don't know where the fish soup is the best. Lan Wangji really didn't know. It was leisurely to rest somewhere and keep traveling, and a few days later, they arrived in that small town. The small town is very remote, and most people have never seen the family of cultivators. When the people on the street saw these two men descending from the sky, they were shocked and thought they were gods. They didn't believe that Lan Wangji and Wei Wuxian were not gods until Wei Wuxian explained. Then the owners of several inns came forward. One said his shop was good and cheap, and another one said his shop had a good reputation. Lan Wangji and Wei Wuxian chose a house that looked spacious and tidy to live in. Wei Wuxian was woken up by the sound of the wind and the rustling sound of knocking on the window. He gently removed Lan Wangji's hand on his waist, slipped out of Lan Wangji's arms, and pushed open the window. Immediately, his face was covered with cold. Wei Wuxian saw that the outside seemed to be foggy, but it didn't look like it. After his eyes adjusted to the darkness, Wei Wuxian realized that it was snow, and the heavy snow like goose feathers fell overwhelmingly. It snowed in Yunmeng, but never so much. Not to mention Gusu, Wei Wuxian has never seen snow a few times since he lived in Gusu. A hand reached out and closed the window, keeping the wind and snow out. Lan Wangji frowned and took Wei Wuxian's hands, wrapping them in his own. Only then did Wei Wuxian realize that he had stood by the window for too long, his whole body was cold, and his cheeks were a little numb. A gentle spiritual force came from his hands and flowed away in his body. Wei Wuxian felt relieved. I've never seen such heavy snow. Wei Wuxian said, listening to the sound of snowflakes hitting the window. Lan Wangji was originally looking down at Wei Wuxian's hand, but when he heard this, he raised his head to look at him and said in a deep voice, there was heavy snow in Gusu one time. Wei Wuxian wondered, why don't I know? Lan Wangji just looked at him and didn't answer. Wei Wuxian understood and smiled nonchalantly, I missed such a miracle. I can always see it in the future. The regrets of more than ten years cannot be made up, but the future will be long. In the early morning of the next day, everything seemed to be completely silent, and the sound of chickens and dogs was never heard. As soon as Lan Wangji and Wei Wuxian left the inn, they were startled by the whiteness that filled the city. The snow was so thick that stepping on it left a deep footprint. The two of them walked cautiously, it was still early, and no one had walked on the snow yet. They walked for a while when Wei Wuxian stopped suddenly and told Lan Wangji to turn around. The two sets of footprints behind him are firmly parallel. Wei Wuxian called him, and Lan Wangji looked at him, always feeling that Wei Wuxian's smile was somewhat malicious. A little bit closer. Lan Wangji walked a few steps without knowing why. Closer. Lan Wangji moved two more steps. Wei Wuxian was almost next to his chest. Wei Wuxian stretched out his hand and wrapped it around Lan Wangji's neck, and Lan Wangji subconsciously wrapped his arms around his waist. Suddenly the back of his neck felt cold. Lan Wangji couldn't help shivering. His neck seemed to be wet, and water was still dripping down. Wei Wuxian hugged him and laughed wildly while putting his hand on Lan Wangji's neck to keep warm. 
Lan Wangji's face was suddenly pressed down, and Wei Wuxian was a little startled by the threat in Lan Wangji's eyes. The distance was so close that his breath fell on Wei Wuxian's face, but there was a sudden pause, and a cold kiss landed on the side of Wei Wuxian's neck. Wei Wuxian shrank his neck, also trembling. He thought his revenge was over, but then wetness came from his neck, and Wei Wuxian's body suddenly went numb. A short breath hit Lan Wangji's neck and he can't help smiling. In the morning, the inn owner said that when the two distinguished guests came, the town had its first snow this year. They were so thick that they could seal everything up. It was as white as a newborn.